So in this video, we introduce Flex.1, developed by the Black Forest Labs, a leading player in generative AI research. So their mission is to develop advanced generative deep learning models for media, including images and videos, aiming to push the boundaries of creativity. So by making their models accessible to a wide audience, they strive to bring the benefit of generative AI to everyone. So the Flex.1 suite of models redefine text to image synthesis, offering state of the art image generation. So the Flex.1 family, so they include the Flex.1 Pro, which is a top performing model for enterprise solution. And it's also available via the replicate and file.ai. And we also have the Flex.1 Dev, which is an open weight model for non-commercial use. It's also available on Huggy Face and can directly try it out on Replicate. So the Flex.1 Scanner is the first model for local development and it's openly available under an Apache 2.0 license, right? So it is also available on Huggy Face and in Inference code can be found on the GitHub and in Hugging Face diffusers. It also has integration with the Confi UI. All right, so in this video, we are going to experiment the Flex scanner using the Hugging Face, Hugging Face integration. So we are going to run that through the caller. All right, so the team at the Black Forest Labs consists of the distinguished AI, consisting of AI researchers, engineers. So Flex, so as you can see here, it surpasses most, most of the benchmarks and surpasses most of the scores here as compared to other uh, text-to-image models. For example, you can see the Mid-Journey V6 Flex channel. So you can see the Flex here being the highest score as compared to the other models. All right, so in terms of creative capabilities, you see here and it compares the pricing of those um, models. So you can see the Flex Pro rating highest in terms of creative capabilities and it has corresponding cost to that. Okay, so when you compare the benchmarks of the image synthesis, you can see so you, you can compare that to the Flex.1 Pro and the Dev surpasses the popular models like Midjourney, DALI 3, the SD3 Ultra in the following aspects. So you can see the visual quality. You can see here the output diversity, the typography, the aspect size variability so you can see the prompt flowing so you can clearly see the flex.1 pro is ranking highest in terms of these benchmarks all right so this is the uh, blog i'm gonna attach that in the description you can read more about that so when you come here in the hugging phase you are going to utilize the uh, flex.1 scanner to run as the model to run to create some text to image applications using color right so you can read more information on this so we have the api endpoint and it is a 12 billion parameter model and so you can run it through this api point bfl.ml replicate.com file.ai and you can do that with the confi ui all right so let's get into my ps code all right, so in here is my VS code and I'm going to start off with, so I'm going to runtime. I'm going to choose, so I'm going to be using the LP G, GPU. All right, I'm going to select that. And so I'm going to import, install the diffusers package from the Hugging Face repository. And I'm going to install this get https so i'm going to install this diffuser so i'm going to say run and let's give it some time oh 
Next is I'm going to import PyTorch library. So I'm going to import the Flex Pipeline class from the diffusers package. So I'm going to say from import diffusers, from diffusers import the Flex Pipeline to create the pipeline. I'm going to run this. Right, so now I'm going to load the pre-trained flex pipeline model with this configuration. So I'm going to use the touch P float 16. So this is the model as you can clearly see from the hanging face. Right, so I'm going to enable the model CPU to offload, offloading to save some RAM. Right, so you can remove this if you have enough GPU. So I'm going to run this. All right, so let's look at now we want to now we want to import the function from the IPython for displaying the images. So we are saying from IPython we display import this we import display and then we import touch. So from pale we import image. All right, so now we want to run a prompt. We want to put a prompt and generate our image. So we are going to start off with, let me say, all right, so let me start with this. All right, so I'm going to pass my prompt. I'm going to say a cat holding a sign that says hello world. And now create a pipe and we pass our prompt. So the guidance scale, so I have made a comment to this code to make it easy to understand. So I'm going to say guidance scale for image generation. So zero means no guidance. You can put a guidance to that. And I output type is equal to peel. So, and it's used as the a Python imaging library. So we are going to use that as the output type. And we use the num inference type steps, it's called four. So the number of inference steps for the image generation and the maximum sequence length for the prompt is 256. You can change that. And the touch, we are using the seed, the CPU, and the set a seed. So we want that to, we want to enhance the reproducibility for that. So we make it zero. And now we want to get an image. All right, so we resize the image and we change this to the desired size that you want. All right, so you resize using the lang source filter. And that is a high quality resam resampling filter used for image resizing. All right, so it has the ability to make the image sharp with minimal artifact. All right, so we want to display the image and we want to save it. All right, so now I'm going to run this and let's see how it works. It's going to give out a nice image. Let's see if that claim is true. All right, so this is awesome. So I I added a prompt, a cat holding a sign that says hello world. And it gives out the exact, isn't this beautiful? All right, this is awesome. So you can use it for maybe your thumbnail. You can, you know, use it for a lot of use cases for your project. So let's try the second one and you can save the output here. So I name it like this. Right, so let me let me run the next one and let's see. So I'm gonna put in another prompt. Oops, okay. So I'm gonna put in so let me run this one. A black forest. Toast, toast, a black forest toast, spelling out the word, flex dev, tasty food, 
photography dynamic shot. So let's run it and see. It's out a very nice picture. So it says, so I said it should add a flex dev, tasty food photography in a dynamic shot. And it gives out this, this is great. So let me try the last one. Last one. I'm gonna say brown SUV moving car in a forest with the name Data Edge written on it in dynamic shot. So I'm gonna run this here and let me run it here. Let's see. Wow, this is awesome. All right, so I said a brown SUV moving car in the forest with the name Data Edge and exactly you see the car is moving with the name is a brown SUV with the name Data Edge showing on there. All right, this is great. All right, so this is just the uh, the Flex.1 scanner that can be run locally. All right, so you can implement this in a lot of use cases and so do try out with this model and let me know what you think about this i hope you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe see you in the next one